sorry. Hi guys. <laughs> there he goes again. Anyway, um, I did decide to do a face of the day. I didn't put foundation on, but I did do concealer under my eyes. And um, I did an eye look. So let's talk about what's on my eyes. And my thing is looking this way, but and my mirror is there and camera is over here. So I guess I got to look over here, right? Anyway, yeah. <laughs> So for the look, I used my Urban Decay Primer Potion Anti-Aging one. This one. No, not over there. Husband's clothes on the door. No, nobody wants to see that. And I'm not moving them. He has to move them himself. Yeah. Anyway, that is what's on my primer. Liddy. And then... I use this little Coastal Sense brush. It came in a little kit. It's so cute. And it's soft and nice. Look at that. Look at that. Anyway, <laughs> it feels good on the eyes. So, I use this. And then I lay down. I am loving this Wet n Wild Silent Era Film Palette. Oh my gosh. This reddish brown crease color right here it's like slightly red oh my goodness look at this bad boy look at that oh it's like a pink with a brown and it not exactly red but yeah my colors are sometimes off but anyway love this palette if you have it use it if you don't have it i don't know i think it was a limited edition but you might still find it that color is the bomb.com yeah so, that's my little product rave on that. So, that's on my crease, and this is the that, that color you see above there. Then I reached in for no rhyme or reason, and I grabbed the, the Gilded Age, and everybody loves this palette. And I use this dark, bronzy, brown color here. The middle one you can tell I like this color see I've used it a few times but that is below right there and give that gives it that extra pizzazz right there and can you see it there it is it just blends in with that color and makes an awesome shade so that's that became my crease color and I'll just drop those down in the bottom there. And then, the creme de la creme. This, I don't do camouflage palette. This. I think that this is one of the best palettes. This, this trio that Wet n Wild has. I mean, I own all of them from uh, several years back. I started collecting each season they come out I tend to get all the colors I want to sneeze sorry however these blues here oh my goodness every single one of them and I used all three of them today now on the inner corner there I used the lightest blue then in the middle there I used the darker blue right here so this is in the very inner corner then I use this one, and then this one is all over the lid and actually on the outer edge right there. Actually, what I did do was use this Ruby Kisses Express Liner and Shadow Pencil, this blue one. It's a pretty blue. Yes. And then I put that just on the mobile lid. Yep. Use my little brush and kind of blend it out a little bit on the edge. And then I got I went in with these blues and this little darling here. I have it underneath. I use a black liner and then I put that color under there and just run it along. Then I used this green pencil from Jordana. It's 12 hour made to last liquid eyeliner pencil. And I did end up having to set this pencil with one of the green colors from my 120 palette, I think third edition. I'm not going to open it, but just any 
hunter green shadow which is matte can use to set that green liner right in there okay and that was for the eyes um can't remember oh I did do something else yes I was I was all over the place today however this Kat Von D color this one right here I think this one is called Vespertine Vespertine this one it's not as white as it looks on on camera but it's a gorgeous color and that's under my brow bone that's the highlight color for the day love this ladybird palette well then I didn't do black eyeliner on top as you can tell didn't want black eyeliner on top today just thought I'd do something different on my brows I did use an NYX pencil in brown and if I can find it anyway any however you do your brows I do my brows because of the way my situation is so you do your brows the way you do your brows so just the color it's just the NYX pencil in brown okay next I moved on to under the eyes yeah oh that pop of green that you see right in the very corner in here that would be Milani's shadow eyes pencil in green safari this one very pretty green pencil yeah so that gives it just a perfect pop right in there so my mascara today I have about four or five of these little Mac zoom lash things you know I go to Mac and sometimes I buy and they just throw a bunch of them in the bag um, so I end up with about I think I have like I'm looking at four but I think I may have more than four I decided to whip out one of them so that's what I use today and that's my mascara for a highlight I pulled out an oldie but goodie and oh before I get to the highlight the concealer since we were discussing immediately under the eye I used my Mary Kay signature concealer and this one is light bronze and that's what's under my eye and then I set that with my MAC prep and prime loose powder I changed the container and put it in this just so I can dip in there and yeah just make it easier for me to use so I switched it but I labeled it it's my MAC prep and prime thing that's in here so I just use the sponge put it lay down the thing and then use a little brush this little brush and just move away the excess okay so my highlighter if you can see that little hint of highlight that I have on the cheek right there I took out my Stila rose gold many of us have this it's a big old block of stuff which I don't think anybody will ever use up yeah so for centuries to come I'll still own this crap because it's not going anywhere I just had to throw that in there anywho so the blush remember I said I didn't put foundation on I just put a little of the concealer in my forehead and just you know what was left on the brush and just worked it out and that was that that's all I did no foundation and uh, for my blush I used Heather Silk and that looks like this and this is also by Wet n Wild the color icon blush and I just love it it's gorgeous yeah so that's basically your face um, for my lip liner I use pinky by NYX the pinky looks like that and uh, of course if you watch my previous video if not get down over there and go watch that other video that I uploaded my son is cutting up in it but yeah you know how it goes this is the Revlon lip balm balm matte balm 
whatever. Brain fart. Yeah, can't remember crap these days. I think I'm getting old. And that's the color next to it. Nice swatch, isn't it? I like them together. So that's what's on my lips. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. -y. And yeah, that's all she wrote. And the hair is drying out and it's still curly and nice. And usually when I shampoo, a lot of times I let it just air dry and I look like a hot mess and then I look like a little lioness and whatever. But hey, my face looks cute. Yeah. Anywho, that's that. So tomorrow, if I'm in the mood and I get back in my whole swing of things, and I feel like it, I'll probably do another face of the day if I get off my hiney and sit on the chair and do my face. I'll upload it and then I'll put my butt back in the bed and elevate my feet. Uh, yeah, I have to follow doctor's orders. Anywho, that's that. So the next time you see me, if I don't do a face of the day tomorrow, then for sure the next couple of days, I will upload a haul video for you guys. I know y'all like haul videos. Yeah, we all like watching haul videos because we like to shop. We're women and men who just love corporate America. We just love to be consumers. We just love to shop and do crap. Whatever. Anywho. Yeah. That's it. Peace. I'm out. It's about time. Shut up! He's a big head over there. Uh.